This is Cars Land Super Speedway. This is more than any race. This is the NCCRS here at the HQ of the CCS. Cars Land Super Speedway. Zach is going to be joining me in the booth as our producer and co-con. We wish Reggie and Daniel Paulus, who are scheduled to be here, the best. Zach, what an incredible uh, prospect we have tonight. One of these tracks where these guys know that the cup race was wild. We should expect a little less tuned race, not as wired, not as amped, but great racing action here at Cars Land. What are we, th- what are we expecting tonight? Well, uh, probably a little bit, a lot more toned down from the cup race. The wind speeds are a lot, a lot less. Uh, the cup race had wind speeds of upwards of 15 miles an hour. This race, there's barely any wind with two miles an hour from the northwest. Temperatures aren't as extreme either, with uh, very mild 80 degree temperatures. And uh, we did lower the package just a little bit so that way the drivers wouldn't be so apt to race so aggressively and be apt to causing wrecks. So hopefully that's been toned down. Uh, again, I think that should be good. Did the test. Went well. We'll see what product they give us. Yes, sir. And we're going to do a little recap as always. Zach, give us a little recap of what happened last time out at our previous race. Yeah, last race it was Matt MV and Jeremy Frey. Jeremy Frey uh, started pole, uh, led a lot of laps. Um, didn't lead the most, but Matt MV, or actually he did lead the most, Jeremy Frey. Uh, Matt MV came and took it after a mid-race yellow and took it home to get his first career win in the NCCRS for Chai Racing. Not starting too well today, but both of the which both of those drivers are top four in standings right behind Zig Zagoon, who is starting right in front of the eighty eight, or right in between the forty four forty eight anyway. And Frank Chilton, who has been undoubtedly the most consistent driver in the first uh, part of the season. Yeah, Frank for all pace Chilton will be one to watch. Not only will he be one to watch, he's got the bullseye on his back as the points leader. As as Zach said, Matt M B looking strong, Zig Zagoon. Strong as well in the points. We'll see if they can make a big move. But real quick, Zach, we are going to have some interesting rules tonight. The big one is strict DQ. Talk a little bit about why we're having strict DQ for some new viewers out there. All right. So this track and tracks that are uh, labeled as super duper speedways, I guess it would be the right wordage. These tracks have um, speeds upward of 200, upward of 225, speeds that are abnormal to the average NASCAR viewer, but speeds that are very high. And for that reason, we cannot risk having cars that are going even 200 miles an hour as their top speed on the track, because it is such a hazard to guys that are going so quick and, you know, trying to avoid those guys. This is a, I know it's a wide track, but swerving to avoid cars. Um, I've seen it as this track. It is very dangerous. And for that risk, any damage that is visible, from TV1 um, on a car will result in a DQ or maybe some leeway given if it's just some very minor, minor damage, like just a tap around the hood or a tap on the rear. But other than that, uh, if you have been involved in a wreck or anything, uh, it's a DQ. Now, just spinning out won't be a DQ, but you'll be on, I guess you could say, our watch list. Um, there, If you start falling back too far off pace early after a run or during a run, uh, you will be uh, DQ'd from the race. And also, real quick, uh, Jimmy Starr making his first attempt in NCCRS since 2021, ran here full time, was also a brief CCS driver in 2022. Uh, it looks like he's back in the number 19 Midnight Scar in the second Toyota in the entire series. He joined uh, Jack Ross's team. So now we have two Toyotas in uh, NCCRS. Should be an interesting one with all those highlights, Zach. We will be looking out for aero versus handling. What tire we're expected to be. We see about a second in the Cup Series, even though we had some cautions about a second on that last green flag run. It could be interesting. We saw Joy Paints in the Cup Series play a little fuel trace game and saved their stuff and made it to the end. And if this race does go caution-free, Crew Chiefs will be cooking that calendar, per se, and sheets of what to do in past history. We will go through a top 10 starting lineup real quick after the command. So, Zach, we'll have that. But for right now, let's get to the command. Drivers, start your engines. Zach, attack, going to flash. Top 10 rundown starting lineup. Let's All go right. for it. So, we got Potato Boy starting pole, his first pole in the series. 
and then right behind or right next to him is Jimmy starting 19. He's starting second. He's starting third is the 33 Monster. Fourth is the double zero Marina Gonzalez. Fifth place, Vince Free. Sixth place, Kurt Locker. Seventh place, 73 Shred. Right behind him. Um, and seventh place is the 55 Ryan Cole. Eighth place. That's eighth place. That's eighth place. I'm sorry. Yeah, kind of hard to get figure out. I think uh, ninth place is 71 Tatmaw. Jimmy said I believe is in seventh or eighth. And then 10th place running out is Nimrod, who just got reversed up to the race. He's looking to build up from that last place in the standings to get in a position where I compete, can compete for something or maybe even win. <laughs> we'll see. This is going to be one of the craziest starts, folks. We're going to enter this massive rainbow restart zone. Potato Boy will lead us to green. When does he go? We're about to find out. 40 laps here at Cars Land Super Speedway. We're underway here in the NCCRS. And cautions are decided by the game, and it looks like, ooh, almost. Oh, risky whiskey back there in the back. Let's see what happened. Definitely. I respect to this is too much. Somehow look at this view. Wreck. Somehow. Take a quick look at that, just in case they do wreck. We'll go helicopter because that seems like the best view. But just real quick, so you're having the 17 NH Bryson Miller and NH Bryson Miller, yeah. Bryson Miller, Byron Webb and Patrick Miller. <laughs> you know, put together, but you know we'll see what happened to them on the start. Yeah, just a little contact there, Miller and Webb. <laughs> Oh. I think uh, Sandy Messi's going to need a new pair of pants after that one. We'll need some wall johns after that. One thing to note is that we, we, are, we are known to see if we do have restart cautions, we, we are not afraid to penalize drivers if they uh, do indeed wreck and play restart games. We'll have to watch this. Gonzalez at 3-1. Oh, they're, they're pushing it. They're pushing it. Yeah. This is uh, about 3% less than the cup race, so... I'm certain this is GMS Physics playing the role here. Did not keep that in mind, so that uh, got a little lag spike there. We have a few of those, but you know, we got Jimmy Starter behind that. They Sometimes are going a little great. slower. Yeah, the Cup Series, we saw 260 almost. These guys are only hitting eh, 240, 245. Yeah, again, different physics, lower, era, well, lower um, horsepower on these cars, so. Zach, you're going to take this. I got to take a call real quick. Apologize. Yeah, yeah, it looks like LJ Toledo just led a lap there. Again, just watching the lead. Uh, and the Lattic spikes. But yeah, it looks like conveyor belt racing right now. Ooh, 43 got crazy big run by the 90 of um, Matthew Hiller. He just came out of nowhere big run behind Ian Stiles and Israel Dreamer who's trying to get a lap but Azriel um, has a good start to their season here again a rookie and at 75 is looking for something fresh something to do better and uh, again they may try to get this lap led that would be big he's got Jet 07 right there uh, he won the cup race at Talladega this week so 2 for 2 would be big seeing he has not won an NCCRS race but does have a Cup race one in his pocket is Ezreal Dreamer led that lap, and I Matthew Hill quick to the quick to the point. Uh, you see, uh, Byron Webb there. He almost took out Patrick Miller on that first lap. Uh, Patrick Miller not faring as well as the 17 right now. I'm sure that scared him. But Santa Messi was also up there briefly as well. Yeah, just conveyor belt racing. We're eventually going to see this race. If it stays green, we could see this race get spread out and just stay that way. Just to see who's got the faster car. Matthew Hill, and he's been in this series every season since 2021, including 2021. Almost won Atlanta in 2021, but unfortunately got beat out by then driver in a double zero. I think they're not in the series anymore, but uh, they, they don't have a win. Uh, they've come close a few times, finished very well last week as Mikel Guerrero. Playing a new scheme today, he led that lap and kind of the line at the top. Again, we've seen. That lane is more of a passive lane. Uh, you may save some tires up there, so not a total loss if you go up there. You see Kyle Sestray, who 
has ceased to finish outside the top 10 this season. In, uh, these, this is his fourth race. He has not finished outside the top 10. Looking at a lap like her. Jimmy Starr looking to take the point uh, for the first time since lap one. He technically sit pole considering he started second in the bottom lane. But this is a right turning track, so we'll see. But Jimmy Starr, he's got zero points to his name prior to this race in this season because he just joined. So uh, leading this lap here is going to be a little bit helpful towards him rebounding for he is about six races, six, five, six races behind his standings. We have not talked about Thunder 24 fan at all in that 83 car this season. Almost won the championship last year. Didn't quite make it to the Cup Series. Got hired by him. He's actually rotated through a couple teams in the offseason. One got banned because uh, he was doxing people. But um, now he's with F SB1. That is a almost championship tier team. They're working on it. I believe he has a teammate. But to say that he does not have to draft for Jimmy. Will defend. We could see Jimmy becoming a guy being able to pace. There's the 87 of Saber Fox. He was quickest in practice. Um, wasn't really notable in qualifying or happy hour, however. He was wide for the game last year. So, Brock Nelson, who's been quietly consistent. And Vince Freeze. Zach, I'm back. All right. And Vince Freeze is back. We're four wide for the lead in the one. Yeah, what a great time to get back. Red Bull on Red Bull with some Pepsi on the bottom there. Ryan Cole looking to lead that inside lane. I'm telling you, Zach, we see, for the first couple of we've seen a lot of ebbs and falls. I mean, Vince Freeze and Cole were, I think, 41st and 42nd at one point. Now they're here they are battling for the lead. We could see a little bit more of that since tire wear is a little bit down than I thought it'd be. It's a little bit down. Usually by the end of this run, by lap 10, it would have already been a half a second. We're a little bit less on tire wear, which is interesting. Probably the slower speeds. Yeah, it's definitely probably lower horsepower. And again, these guys, you know, they go up to the top lane. I think that saves their tires a little bit. Yeah, very interesting there, as you see. Cold playing a little shuffle game. This is scary. In the, this is going to get really scary off this corner. I'm telling you, this this could be one of those places right here where we could see a wreck now. The tires are, they're, they're practically aged. But at the same time, they've got a little bit more room to run. As Freeze does make the move. Gonzalez is up there. Look at this. Yeah, you see, it's starting to spread out, but there's still five wide and almost six wide potential. It's not, we're not out of the woods of wreck yet. Ten laps in. And they're really finally out. And you just probably see lap traffic from their pace. That is going to be something, but if that's the case, they'll probably be spread out by then. Shouldn't be a concern in terms of wrecks being caused. Intermediate package is basically going to be deployed once we get 20 laps into a run. Which you'll, you'll need. Yeah, this, I guess you could say. I know Zach says super duper super. It's called a mega speedway. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the correct terminology. Mega super speedway. We will see that as well at a couple other venues throughout the season, and I think the Cup Series as well. We'll go to a mega road course yeah. in Le Mans, Le, Le, and Le Mans too. Yeah, super speedways on these tracks. And Even though the track is less wide and less hazardous from the tests I've done. Man, top five in points right now. That's Tech Levet and then right behind him, Mr. Pace himself. Yeah, I, well, what can you say about Mr. Pace? I mean, Mr. Raw Pace Chilton has been one of the slickest. I don't know if it's his crew chief. I don't know if it's the engineering behind. But what do we have to say about that? But why is Frank Chilton always showing up at the front? I mean, we seen it in socks first. We were like, man. I wonder if this is going to carry over into the NCCRS. And he was not able to really double down and in the socks because, you know, Luck wasn't really on his side there. And now he's found the look. He's found what he's needed to. And, man, he's just good every single race. And, you know, in one race here and there, he just doesn't got it. But, man, a huge points lead right now. He's going to be hard to shake for this championship right now. Right now, you know, one, one thing to watch here is we've got someone on the opposite end of the spectrum. That's the uh, the 04 there. Let's see who he is. I don't remember the oh, name. Gee, Who's Toledo, the 04? Toledo, yeah, Toledo, 36th in points. He's looking to maybe shake it up a little bit and get a nice run. Needs a good points today. Yeah, as is a, let's do the DQs from too much damage and just being in the wrong place, wrong time. Hopefully, get that turn around today. There it is, Zach. You're talking about the filing out. Now, look, we're starting to see it. We've got guys way in the back there that have lost it. 
They've lost the draft. We're, we're, we're there. We are there. Uh, we're still not quite, you know, spread, spread out, but it's it's going to be, uh, I think this is going to be a green to the finish. Just look at that inside line. How much distance do you gain by taking the shorter route as a little aggressive right there by freezing the 63? And so, ooh, Sustray, you know, he's a rookie, but he knows how to get done. He seems to be very consistent. Knows how to play the line game at all different types of tracks. He, is, he could be one to watch. He is yet to finish outside the top three races he's done. This is his fourth. Yeah, really good by Sustray as you look at. Uh, let's go to the back of the pack, actually. Zach, let's just check out some of the back. See some of the guys fall Ooh, yeah. The and start to see those cars that aren't as good. They're probably going to be lap cars under pace, but again, seeing 52 seconds around the track, they may not even go lap. Again, that's early prediction. They, we could see them right at the end of the race. We'll see. Let's see here. Just see how much time they're losing. 14 seconds. They're running 52 sixes as the leaders are running what? Yeah, man. These, those 51 the threes. Don't have any draft. They've just fallen out because the pace has equaled out. The cars who are faster have gotten around. The cars who are slower on the setup. I, I want to point something out, too, that I think this is part of the problem with not really part of the problem, part of the issue when, you, when you're a crew chief. Do you really want to go for a raw pace setup, or do you need to have a little tire wear handling? I think there needs to be a fine mixture of both. And There's no diffuser like the cup cars, as it looks like they were for a second, that they were, might have been under caution the way they were singling out. But it just shows you that as the tires wear, we could get this train racing, and without the diffuser, the dirty air is a little bit less uh, abrasive, but it also can mean a little bit more slingshotty. For the cup cars, I feel like you lose it, you're not getting it back due to the drag. These cars have a little bit less drag and a little bit more loose handling, just the way the spoiler is and the way the round shaped bumper are, for sure. Some Dan, uh, he got two wins last season, hasn't showed any consistency this year. I think it's the first time he's seen the top five all season. Really good, you know what's really good though, about what I'm seeing right here? And this is very good to know is, 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 uh, is oh wow, oh wow, 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 wow. wow. They're starting to roll. I'm just starting to notice here. I think we might start getting a top five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, they're really going to spread out. I mean, we're not. We might get that. Yeah, I think we got nine that are within two seconds, and tenth is freeze with about two point five. I think that's the gap right there. I think that's going to be the race. Ninth and tenth have to work together, and they're starting to, which is good. But if they don't work together, we could start to see a run, which would be interesting. It just, it's just all about line angles now at this point. you got to take the shortest line, shortest distance to make up the time, and that's inside line. Matt, that hill. Or change the lane that saves your tires. That's going to be an interesting choice there. I'm going to move my Matt Hill. Uh, give me TP all day. I, I, I really think track position is just going to matter. Now, let's see Let's see how that... Oh, yeah. The 83 just went... Yeah, he lost, he lost about six times taking the high lane. I think that shows you lane placement and line placement will be key. You don't want that high lane. That 43 car was leading the race about three laps ago. He's right back in the eighth now. High lane's really good, definitely, when you get off the back stretch. But when you're coming into three and four to the rainbow restart zone, you want that inside line. There's Frey underneath. Really interesting at the front, though. Toledo, like I said, needs a good run. Here comes 63, though. Is it Sumdan, or who is that? Uh, Sumdan, sixth lane. I think some damn, but uh, he needs a good one too. He's kind of in the same spot in points. Some damn looking. There's, there's Mr. Consistency, Mr. Sue Stray, yeah, looking to really. Consistency and Mr. Raw Pace himself. Damn, we already got some names floating around these guys. Yeah, that's that's why names are made here, right? Uh, but anyway, <laughs> that's, that's that's how we do it here in the uh, N Double CRS. Little fizz and a little bubble action. Like I said, this is a shorter race than the Cup race. We, we talked about the top. We're almost halfway there. You got to really know how to pick and choose your lane. Let's see what Eric Monaco's doing. Yeah, Eric Monaco, again, he was last running car, still is. Just lost the draft, and he's going to be at a huge disadvantage. Unfortunately, probably going to get a lap down before this race is said and done. But currently, uh, oh, yeah. back from the leader this season. Oh, he might not get a lap down, but we'll see. So he's, if he does, he's probably going to be the only guy. Maybe, maybe, uh, 
maybe the 22 and F6, but... Yeah. And like I said, we only... We we really can't DQ anybody tonight unless they have damage, so that would mean that Eric Monica will play a factor. Unless they have visible or real damage, the leader has to avoid them, for sure. Yeah. And, you know, this is going to be a big point shift if it finishes like this, because none of the guys who are, like, top five in points are running up here right now, except for the number three, Jeremy, Jeremy Frey. And you've seen Pox, Kozar, Ziggs, Goon, who are, like, top ten in standings, and consistent. They're outside of the top 30, so they're currently in a not so good spot. And I think with this filing out, some some Dan is going to lead some good laps here, and that's going to be good for his standings. Always can't forget those good old bonus points. Leading laps will definitely get you some points, and it will also give you that momentum you need, especially as we get into more of these interesting races on the schedule. Zach, you want to go over the schedule real quick, the next three for the viewers? Next race is Talladega. That's one to watch out for, um, for sure. We've seen a cup race there. Yeah, that was pretty interesting. Um, again, not a super duper speedway, or a mega super speedway, I guess would be the proper term. She's LJ Toledo trying to take that lead back. He's going to be Good move for LJ. As well. but, yeah, go ahead and pull it up here. So, yeah, next race is Talladega, and then after that we got our first road course of the season at Indianapolis road course, so it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, did, it, did we not go to Old Spice here? Uh, oh wait, yeah, we did go to Old Spice, my bad, I thought, I, I, didn't, I didn't think of that. <laughs> yeah, we went to Old, yeah Spice. Old Spice. Yeah, that was, a, that was that one controversial race, but we got that kinked out. Yeah, ironically, Pius Cozart was, was probably going to win that race, but... Yeah, unfortunately, I think that really... Messed him up in the algorithm too because he is not doing too good right now. Maybe he's not six. He's second in standings coming into this race. That just shows you that you one bad setup, especially at a place like this where it's hybrid package, can can screw you. So you have to be very on top of it, especially as we go to road courses. Jimmy Starr up there, he's looking really good so far. In the top ten, top ten consistency is the key. Mm -hmm. I still think the top ten have a chance to win this race. I'm not going to rule anybody out in the top ten. Yeah, I agree with you. I think tires is going to be starting to become a factor. I oh, yeah. not sure if they're going to pit or not. We can't rule that out. But um, nonetheless, either way, tire wear is, is just going to be the biggest factor here. Yeah, this, and they may come to the point where you know, maybe people, uh, maybe fuel might be a factor. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're in a 40 lapper here. So it's going to be very interesting to see how it ends up because there's a few unknowns here. Now. Yeah, we, we we know we know fuel can be a uh, big havoc play, especially with fuel mileage. It, it, fuel mileage races, it's all about. We talk about Joy Paints saving with the throttle trays. You got to play with the throttle, and that's all about line placement. If you want to save fuel, inside lines your your best friend uh, in in a way, right? You're creating less distance. You want to create the most speed. Inside lines your best friend. What's killing you is you start going to the outside line just a little bit, venturing away from that. I guess fourth lane on this big mega track and then you're really starting to burn more fuel but right now as we see Kay Williams here circulating around 33rd the leaders are going to start playing games as we see a top two trying to break away uh, Saber Fox won, an in, uh, won a Sox race I believe that, that was at Pensacola if I remember correctly and he's been he's been really quick in pace with the practice run, but when it comes to the racing and the qualifying, he just has not been able to execute. This race being somewhat of a wild card, I think he can get some something going here. Maybe his team can find something. Maybe consistency around the corner. Yeah, this could be interesting for the 87. Fox so, looking for a good run for sure, and Toledo. Going to have a really good points day. I think everyone in the top three right now going to have a good points day. Who are not doing so well in standings. Um, now, fast Kyle Sestray, crazy enough, started the season late. He's already kind of at a point where he can be in the playoffs, <laughs> but being top 10 every race he's competed in and looks to continue that streak um, today. One thing we have to note is that Zach Frank Chilton has entered the top 10. That's Whoa. big. I mean, we, that, we saw Joy Payne's get a second and extend that Cup Series points lead. Frank Schillen is going to try to play that same playbook strategy and get that top 10 and really make it hard on these guys, especially with Zagoon at 41st. Yeah, that's going to be a huge points 
steps it for the ASF four car game. Even just top 15, that's gonna be a big point stay for that four car. Their point stay, I think their point stay is gonna grow to an immense, a very immense uh, piece <laughs> um, after this race. We'll have to see, but I'm starting to notice that 87 is starting to enter higher. I think their tires may have been maybe uh, at a disadvantage. Jeremy Frey just made a one second and four positions in one lap and might go for second here. What a move. We didn't see that, but Whoa. he's making up some time. Where's Frey? Yeah, that's Jeremy Frey with head of steam. How about that? Let's go on board with Jeremy Frey. Let's see what kind of lines he's taking. I don't really spot. We haven't done, by the way, we haven't done spider cam in a while. Uh, as you see Matthew Hill get in there. We're not going to do that today because this place is kind of bad on cameras. Uh, but we will return to that next time I'm in the booth. Here's Jeremy Frey, though. Let's just look here. Yeah, he's taking a more of a wider approach. You see the tire wear is high. He's going to let Mr. Star go by. I file in line, just try to hunt these guys. I think it's a good move to stay in line because the top two are definitely visibly breaking away, for sure. Yeah, but, but yeah, we're starting to see these guys file out. I think you're right. We may see a few, we may see uh, Frey or Star or maybe even Hill come up challenge these leaders if they can keep together yeah well so much for that or if those leaders are falling off in tire wear we'll have to keep them on that as well what do we think Zach what's the watch who you got um, I got man it's going to be hard to say I think uh, I think uh, Sestre may rebound and get up here and uh, maybe take this win I think uh, kind of crazy these guys are still paced enough where they can draft now 97 didn't take the right line there but if they can get, I think if he can strategize the way you know, where Frey went from power position he went to third, he'd definitely be a threat for this one. He's been so consistent. I don't think he's let a lap yet today, but more power to him because uh, you know, yeah, he hasn't let a, he hasn't let a lap. That's a point he hasn't gotten. Makes you wonder how much he's going to put on the line to do that. I'm gonna go with say, yeah, I'm gonna go with Fox. But if we do get a pit stop. I bet you someone who's 11th through 20th can win this race because they're probably saving more fuel in the draft. As long as they stay in the draft and use the throttle trace, which goes back, someone 11th through 20th, whoever it is right now, will win. But if there's no pit stop, I think Fox might have this. Let's see. Let's say someone like um, Rubino, maybe Shred is way back there. He could still win. He started in the top five. Last week's MV winner, he could do something for sure. He's right there in 15th. Uh, so successful in taking the lead at time, so that's going to give him an extra point. Actually, yeah, these guys are starting to fall back. We just wonder, is are they saving tires? Are they saving fuel? Are they just not trying to get involved? Are they, are they waiting for Eric Monaco to play a factor? I mean, we know he's a long way back, but one lap car, we haven't seen it yet. Could Oh, yeah. He's at least 30 seconds back. No, he's only... Half the track. I don't think they're going to get to Let's just see here through the line. We, he didn't update. I think he's 25. Oh, he's starting to snip a little draft, too. Yeah, I think, I think this uh, may turn around. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's good. He's good. Yeah. He's, he's just bad. sniffing enough. He's sniffing enough. That's that's definitely doable for sure. Yeah. Right now, it's Saber Fox, as mentioned. He's you can just far. see these guys. Right you see these guys are just playing a really cool... Yeah, they're just playing it really cool. Nothing crazy. No moves. You see, the moves are happening way in the back of the pack there, in the middle pack, and that's just not allowing anyone to close up. You see, they gained a half a second. Now, Toledo goes a little higher. It might cost them, but it's not going to cost them enough. Yeah, we've seen, uh, you know, the 87 here with Fox doing that same thing when he was getting up right behind that uh, 04 uh, when he was coming in turn one. So, I'm not sure what their strategy is, but, you know, maybe save a few, t save a little bit of your tires when you're going. Looking really good for Saber Fox right now. I have to say, I think LJ Toledo has the better car on the lead, but Fox I think just has more nimble and, and chassis development compared to Toledo, and that just shows you, even with both being Camaros, you got different stuff. Toledo's going to go high. I don't think that's the right move. That's someone on pit road. No, right. Really Might have been a camera angle. Yeah, no, we haven't had any issue. If surprisingly, I mean, the 
technical mechanical issues we had too many in the cup race to count uh but that's that's that shows you that we made some adjustments in the settings in the package and it seems like what a move what a move what a move by the 87 now just breaking away now if toledo starts to drag back a little bit this could be intentional it brings the second pack up and that creates a bigger run He's going to gain a lot, though. He's going to gain a lot, right? You, I, I, I bet you he gains at least a half a second. Oh, yeah, he's going to gain a lot. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Oh, seven. Oh, yeah. yeah he, t he, didn't, he didn't lose. He didn't gain any time to the leader, but to Toledo, a half a second. That's big. Oh, seven's going to try. These guys are getting closer to those leaders because they're separated. These guys are drafted up. In fact, when Toledo made on the top really opened the door for this draft back there. Look, what in the name of Mike? Where did he where did he come from? Where where did he come from? He, Frank Chilton was place. Frank Chilton three laps ago was six seconds back. What in the world? Frank Chilton is showing why he's Mr. Raw Page. Now, is he burning too much fuel though? That's the only concern I have. Really filing up. Uh, uh, Frank Chilton. Frank Chilton is on a mission. Did he save tire? Because he was running 51 nines and now he's running three tenths faster. Yeah. yeah, I think draft is also a thing there. He may have just found a really huge run coming off the corner and worked with it. Again, this is a wide track, plenty of room for runs to be made and used. And Frank Chilton's going to have 10 laps to go. He's going to have 10 laps to go to win this race, buddy. 07. Also. Just want a cup race. That puts him in the radar for the NCCRS. Hasn't won a race here. Hasn't really been well in anything here, but he's running third place right now. And we just want to see the feeder, so watch him as well. He, he did get around that four cars. Looks like the leaders are back together. Pass That's huge there. for the leaders. Oh, oh never mind. They're going to be separated again. This is big. They're going to create drag. Again, That's what she wants. I think this is for points. They're worried about points right now because that's where they are in standings. A win does good, but laps led are also kind of like the backup if you don't win a race. And Wow, that 87 lost a ton. This is going to bring them together in these next five laps here. Yeah, it's like stage yeah. points for sure. These two have been back and forth with the lead past 10 laps or so. I-7 fell back and in the outer draft. And this one, uh, that outer draft uh, it looks like they fell apart a little bit. And they fell back. It's not it. They still... Let's see. Let's see. Oh, 7 be the strong in the series cars right now. The other cars going high. I don't know if that's going to be something might be going to corner here. Wow, that 07 is gaining a little bit on the 87, I think. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to keep with it, though. Oh, and the 04. He could, uh, looks like the 04 is coming to pit road. 04, the few other guys. This is, just got interesting. Pit strategy. Sorry, Zach, I lost you with the feet. It just blanked yeah, out. I'm good now. Yellow. Zach? Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm sorry. I lost your feet. And that, that is a big accident. What happened? Not sure. They we're coming to pit road for green flag pit stops and rear under yellow. Well, now here's the thing. The guys that just pit, they just looked out like bandits. Yep. And uh, one guy up front who didn't pit. Saber Fox. Yep. We'll have to go back and see what caused that yellow. Now, oh. well, well, we know what happens when you cause a yellow. It's, uh, it's a, we're, yeah. not, we're not taking that light. Yeah, we're not taking that lightly. Yeah, well, if you 
have to wait for the pacing to go around and see. See if he might get involved in that. He may have went a lap down to the pit strategy. We'll see. Don't believe we'll have a green white checker, but that is something to watch. Yeah, we'll probably go green again. So he was he was actually probably one of the first cars in pit road, so So we'll go mid pack. Eric Monaco shouldn't have not been involved, so we'll go with Jimmy Starr. I'm trying to find a good lane. So it was over here ish. But I don't know who. This might have. Oh no. Uh, trying to see. Yeah, yeah, run the tape. We'll run the tape. We'll run the tape. So, wasn't the night? Nah, like it's, was... mid, it's middle of the pack. It's more back. So, he decided. Okay, you know, he did one hit because he actually came out third out of that. I'll clip the grass. That's how low he was. My God. Yeah, again, trying to make as much time as he can. 83. Let's see. Uh, he went to pit road. Frank Schilton also came to pit road there. Let's see. Let's see. It's more back. It's more back. It's more back. It's coming into three and four. There it is. Yep. Let's go TV one. Let's see if Rubino just Looks like misjudged it. Pit road and... Yeah, he was trying to come to pit road and 51 was there. Ooh, and you can tell he was trying to avoid it too. Oh, man, it's going to hurt. Oh, this is nasty. 200 miles per hour, you see the spin. 51 did a nice job of saving it. Unfortunately, he's got damage, though. I will have to see if it's visible. I don't think it's a lot, but... Oh, oh no. Oh, Ooh, Close. Did he save it? He did. Then where's the accident? Was that it? Oh, there's something else. No, it's back there. It's back there. No, I don't think, I don't think these guys have a problem. No, oh, no, that is bad. 75. Drummer? It might be. Yep. Looks like it. Man, tough break for them. They were running well. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's more, it's more than that, just that. I think that other was... Okay. Same thing. Uh, 54 trying to come in. and They have a pit road issue here I may have to fix. Man. Oh, 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 no. That blame would go to the 54. Watch well, they're both getting here. DQ'd for sure. Yeah, both of them are out of the race. Well... Oh, driver's side. Oh, oh, no. Saved it, but yeah, 75's done. We got more accident up ahead, too. I think that was from the double zero. Yeah, they're both 54. done. 54. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, they're both done. So we'll see. I think this will cycle out to. I think uh, LJ Toledo to the lead. Let's take a look at the uh, standings. I think they pit. I think they pit, right? They just pit? Yeah, they did pit. Um. 87 still scored the leader, but he just went pit road. So I, and again, I think the 04 came out of that first. I could be wrong. No, someone else no. had a pit stop. 22. Too stray. The 22 pull. Okay, so he, he's a lap down, so he's going to be going to the he back. He needs to go to the back. He'll be going back to the back when we get the one to go sign. 07 is your leader. I think no, let's just see the timing and score. Okay, yeah, so 07 is going to assume... 07 should, not be, 07 should not be the leader, unless he stayed out. He might have stayed out. Uh, it, the problem is if we allow that, that's going to... The amount of... The, the pace difference he's going to have on that lane with the tires is going to be detrimental. <laughs> right. Leo, well... Yeah, we're going to have to... What, what was his timing before? So he was... So he was... Uh, okay, never mind, I already updated, but... Uh... So we're going to go ahead and DQ the... Let me see the top 10. Let's just see the top 10 real quick here, Zach. Let's just see. Let's see. Right, let's go to 11th or 20th now. Uh, you know what? Yeah, you know what? DQ. 07? I think... Not DQ. Like, put him at the end of the line. I, I, I think... I think he didn't pit. Yeah, we're gonna, it's too risky. No, you cannot... If we have a finish where this guy <laughs> wins the race... <laughs> I mean that's uh that's too risky. The twenty two will also be yeah. I just thought about this too. We got to go to the back anyway. Actually, he might be cycled to the front because well, E L L on him too. Space guy's got to go because we're we the problem is, folks. The reason why we're stringent on this is we don't want to see a we, we just don't want to see a wreck because someone's got two second old tires and oh okay, let's just wreck the half the field. We're trying to save costs here. Today. <laughs> 
and uh, make sure we get guys out of here a lot. Alright, so 54. We're wanting him now. He needs to go. Yep. Can't keep him. Oh, uh, man. Double zero, we'll keep an eye on him. He didn't hit anything. And 51 as well. He doesn't appear to have any visible damage. We'll keep, we'll keep him on our watch list along with the, uh, the, uh, uh, man, the, uh, double zero. And I think 75 already called the race. Where is he? Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate, but it's part of the game here at Carsland. Right. My bad. Yeah. Again, he did hit that wall pretty hard. Again, these DQs count as um, DNF, so it doesn't hurt you any different from anyone else. Kinks are figured out. I'm gonna get the one to go, baby. This is it. This is going to be. It looks like a three-lap shootout. Wow. I think the 04, who we originally predicted to do that, is going to. Well, who's in the grass? What is they doing? Don't go back to green. Don't... What? Don't go back to green. That's that's a that's a hazard. That that's not gonna work. <laughs> what is he doing? No, we can't. We can't have. We cannot have someone like that. We're gonna have to... oh, he got a brake failure. To... Yeah. No. No green. No green this time. Green. Abort. Abort the start. Ah, uh, he may go to pit road. Let's we'll see if he... he's probably gonna go to pit road. Ah, uh, what's the 92 doing? He's probably leaving room. Pace, is pace car off? Yeah, yeah pace plus it. Just, just to be sure. We can't really mess around. I know we want to get a green light, a green finish, but we, we, we can't. Green, we we can't see. Start to the All right, it's too late. Yeah, All right, we're, we're gonna we have to. We should have just waited another lap. Yeah. Right. Oh, what is that going on up there? Who is that going up? What's the 99 now? I think he may have uh, a similar issue. We should have just... Okay, let's... We may have to... I don't know how we wave off. No, nah, he's, com he's coming back. He's coming back. We're good. I think he was just giving room, but he... What are we waving? I'm going to try to wave off the start. I've never seen a command that says wave. I don't know what it does, though. No, nah, we're gonna have to roll with it, man. We're gonna have to roll with it. Unfortunately, if we get a wreck here, we're going to green white checkers, so. It's on, too. It's on. This is it. Three to go. Toledo will lead, but the biggest problem is will we see as we see 93? Will she be getting off as they are jumbling up back there? He's off. He's, he's off. He's gonna Thank back. goodness. LJ Toledo will get us to the rainbow restart zone. Three lap dashes incoming. Will we see the wreck? We're about to find out. We're green flag here at Cars Land. This is the most diverse field with fuel and tires. This is the biggest risk. Be amazed if they don't wreck here. Oh, we're getting risky up there, boys. Mr. Jimmy Starr, he, he's spending no expense right now. In 04, just lost the race. I, I wouldn't say the race, but man, it looks like he just did. That was a huge loss there in turn one. And just can't, you can't really fault no one. That's just part of the game here at Cars Land. Is if uh, you, you restart as the leader, you're almost a sin duck. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, we will be getting a full super speedway race with two to go coming to the line. Remember, if we get a caution, the race will not be over. We will get green white checkered as we are getting close to it. Matthew Hill looking for the win. Can he do it? Two to go. Four wide down the front stretch here at Cars Land Super Speedway. What can Matthew Hill do? There comes Shred. Batadna is in the mix. Oh yeah. Ball, but he doesn't have the draft. Three does. He's gonna unfortunately get him right. to 88. 88 looking for a really good points today. Both these guys are here looking for a good points today. Look at Rubino Gonzalez. He just spun. Right, he? No, he just spun earlier. He spun earlier. Now he's in the top five. Dang. 
comeback for him. I mean, even right now, I mean. Didn't oh, this isn't over yet. This isn't over yet. 83 is looking low. He's probably going to lose it, but what a run. We're coming to the white. It's all bets. Frank Schoen's coming on that inside line. This is going to be an insane finish. White flag. Here we go. Last lap. What will Messi do? That's the guy. All right. Next flag is going to end the race, whether it's checkers or records. <laughs> What do we do is, oh, Messi, what a block by Space Guy. That 22 is at the back of the pace. Uh, unfortunately, got hemmed up there. He's going to lose some time. Zig Zagoon was out of this. He was looking at a bad point stay. Look at him. Yeah, Zagoon looking like a good point stay. Here comes Toledo. Oh, that's going to be close. Toledo, here comes Sustray. He may get redemption now. Oh, five, six wide. Oh, we're coming to it now. Here comes the strand. The bottom. Zagoon goes wide. It's Jeremy Frey, though, looking for the win. Coming off the final corner. Jeremy Frey, Messi to the line. It's going to be Jeremy Frey drag racing and gets it done at Cars Land Super Speedway. Man, after finishing second last, well, almost winning last race, and Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Raw Pace. To get top 10, and Mr. Kyle Sestray, Mr. Consistent, Cap Captain Consistency, keep up his reign of terror. Man. That was something. You still there? Yeah, it looks like uh, Vince Freeze cutting out there a little bit, but uh, yeah, that was uh, what a finish. I mean, you got to think about this. We saw. Toledo go from first to last to fifth in one lap. We saw Zagoon out of this race to top ten. That caution changed the entire complexion of this entire, not just this race, but possibly the season because the the algorithms, of course. Yeah, I mean Frank Chilton, though, he still got top ten. This isn't gonna this isn't gonna shake him at all. I think he is a very big. Yeah, I just don't know why pace cars doing that, but um, anyways. Yeah, the race, race is over. Yeah, yep. the race is over. goofing off. Tell some guys getting pissed off or something. Actually, I think I had it almost. I don't know. But anyways, uh, Jeremy Frey, after almost winning last week, led almost laps last week. From that on, on top today. What about Messi? He was nowhere all race. That last lap, he just shot like a cannon. What a great run for him. Truly money. You didn't even talk about him all race. Third place. Yeah, he was money today, that's for sure. Good job by Truly. Uh, see straight we talked top about. Top. Yeah, Freeze up there. Uh, the 45 was up there. We haven't seen much of him. Some Dan. Zagoon. Good Dan. For Dan. And, and Toledo. Actually, you know what? Zagoon and Shilton pretty much went off square. Yeah, because I think Shilton might have... I don't know if he led any laps. I, don't, I know for sure the 06 didn't lead any laps, but... Uh, nonetheless, uh, Jeremy Frey, big winner though. He's gonna gain some. He's gonna gain some points yeah, for that's, sure. That's gonna. I don't know how. I don't know if that's gonna put him anywhere near the leader, but I think he may pass the 06 in standings. No, I think he'll, he'll, he, he was he was so far back. I think he might just only pass MV, but we'll see. We'll we'll, we'll see the standings after the race. Yeah. But what what final thoughts here, man? What a crazy race here at Carsland. That caution did change everything, but we saw some good racing. Yeah, it was pretty good. Don't worry about that. I'll pause it that way. I just tab out. But, um, yeah, pretty good uh, race. I wasn't expecting that late yellow with that pit strategy. Definitely keep that in mind in the future. But, uh, yeah, we may have to do something different pit, pit road. But, yeah, these guys were just really uh, aggressive in the first half. We were starting to see where it was green flag. And then we seen green flag pit stops, which did not stay green flag pit stops. And then, there's quite a few winners and losers there. Guys who we thought were out of the race, like Rubino Gonzalez, running top five with two to go. Unfortunately, didn't finish as well. But, again, this track's really wide. It's easy to lose a ton of spots, and it's easy to gain a ton of spots. And Jeremy Freer was just able to do that better than anyone else on that last stretch. And we seen him do it in the middle of the race, too. He went from, like, eighth to third at one point, And there he did get his first one of the season. Yeah, we'll have to watch that for the finale, too. Just know we get a late restart in the finale. All bets are off. That'll be something to watch at the end of the season. For Zach 103 TV and myself, that's going to conclude coverage here at Cars Land Super Speedway. We'll be joining you guys here for the end. It's double CRS at Talladega. Not sure what my next broadcast will be for this series. It will most likely be in the fall. But for the first 6-7 race, I want to say thanks to the fans. I'll be seeing you in the fall.
And if any need, and if any uh, commentator needs to substitute, of course I can try to spring one or two. But for now, it's goodbye for me, goodbye from Zach, and we're signing off from CCS.